fitness goals for the new year, it's almost time to put them in action. KBLC's Haley Jefferson spoke with local gyms about how they're preparing for the uptick in members. We all know the feeling of setting our goals for the new year with hopes of accomplishing them. Some may include spending more time doing a certain hobby or spending less money. A common goal is to hit the gym or get back into a workout routine again. For the New Year's, once New Year's comes, you know, January 1st hits, you're going to see an uptick of new membership. And there's usually going to be one to two, maybe a couple of days, and then three and four, and then it just kind of slowly goes up from there. And you just, it, it goes all the way really up until till March, and summer uh, swimsuit season comes around and people start really getting committed again. And if you are concerned about the crowds, John Foray, owner of Snap Fitness in Lake Charles, says to ask the facility staff about the busiest times and what the accessibility is for equipment. Because that does become a big issue is people not being able to find equipment. Um, not only that, you want to have a place where you can ask questions. Having somewhere, in my opinion, just small, personable, people are there to help uh, answer questions. Katie Rosa, a member of Project Fit Fitness Center, says she is eager to see a new group of people join with some fitness goals. I'm super pumped because uh, I like people, I like energy, I like meeting new people. Rosa also has her own New Year's resolution this year. For me, uh, my New Year's resolution uh, has to do with just getting healthier again. I don't really have anything specific or to the T on what it is, but I do know that I just want to be at a healthier place and I want to be able to be uh, at least as active as I used to be. In Lake Charles, Haley Jefferson, 7 News. John Foray, owner of Snap Fitness Lake Charles, says accountability and commitment will help in achieving your fitness goals.